So most of you know that our youth group a couple weeks ago took a trip to a Christian conference in Tennessee called CIY Move. CIY stands for Christ in Youth, and Move is the specific sector of CIY that is dedicated and designed for high schoolers. So we, the high schoolers, went up in a van to Tennessee for a five-day conference, and Move, the conference we were at, Move for high schoolers, um, is centered around two words, kingdom workers. It's on the screen. Kingdom workers. Kingdom workers is centered around the belief that God calls each and every person, each and every one of his people, to use their special gifts, abilities, talents, and spheres of influence for his kingdom. Basically doing work for his kingdom before we're there, while we're here, with his gifts that he's given us, and in the place that he's put us. And so at the specific conference this year, they discussed and we learned about five characteristics that describe a kingdom worker. Kingdom workers are loved, rescued, united, changed, and sent. Love, L, limitless. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay. Kingdom workers are loved. Ephesians 2, 1 through 5 says, We were deserving of wrath, but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in our transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. Okay. Okay. Loved, L, limitless. He is limitless, expressing his wonders through all generations. O, oppose. He does not oppose us, but goes before us in battle and is beside us in trouble. V, visionary. He is a visionary, creating a you and a me, our beauty that knows no bounds, created in his likeness, but never the same. Different hues, different shapes, but loved all the same. E, empty. I am empty without him. D, divine. He is divine, offering his mercy and forgiveness to all generations. During this week, the Lord showed me that a love that I did not fully know nor understand, a greater God that could not be understood through one reading of the great book. I learned that his love, his protection, was everything and more than anything I could ever offer. Hey guys, um, <clears throat> kingdom workers are rescued. As it's been said in Ephesians 2.13, but now in Christ Jesus, you, who, you, who, you, who were once, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. So um, uh, that, that day we talked about rescued. Um, let me just say it was a very emotional day. Um, yeah, it, it was just emotional. But during um, that uh, afternoon, we had the worship session and service and um the speaker we had that day started talking about the titanic he was saying how it was one of the best ships of its time the strongest the most luxurious and the biggest ship around but sadly all of that wasn't enough to overcome the biggest test of all the iceberg as the speaker went on with the story he mentioned jack phillips a senior wireless operator who stayed behind desperately tapping out the distress signal until the very last moments the distress signal encodes is the picture shown above, dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, 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 standing for SOS. The saddest part about this is that a couple hundred miles away, there was a ship close by that if they were to have responded to the distress signal, it would have been able to save everyone on that ship. But instead, they chose to ignore it, uh, no, ignore it, thinking someone else is going to help them. There's probably another ship closer by. So they didn't respond to the call, and that meant many people dying. He then compared it to us, how there are so many people that need and want to be rescued, yet some of us tend to ignore it, thinking someone else is going to help them. They probably already have someone else. Yet many times we don't think that person can be us. We like to leave things for others, but the rescuers should be rescuing the ones that want to be rescued. So our distress signal was save our souls. For me, it was a very eye-opening experience because so many people, when went up to that stage, pressing the button for the distress signal, and it made me realize how many people are broken and that I should definitely use my, use my skills to communicate with people and talk to others and help them out. I realized that we've all had a certain point in our lives that we needed rescuing and that we should go out there and make a difference in other people's lives. So thank you. Kingdom workers are also united. <clears throat> Ephesians 2.14-16 says, for he himself is our peace, 
who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. His purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of the two, thus making peace and in body to reconcile both of them, Jew and Gentile, to God through the cross, by which he put to death their hostility. This night was really good because it, they were saying how we can't do this on our own. That's why we have friends and the youth group to stay united. Another way we stay united is like to stay united is for we can help the kingdom of God and um, just serve him more. Thank you. Um, at TIY, the word that stood out to me most was change. We learned to, to change, and, and at TIY, they gave an example of a caterpillar changing into a butterfly and how amazing it is like to change and how beautiful the butterfly is. And that's one way they showed us about change. But um, in Ephesians 4, 20, tw Ephesians 4, 22 through 24 tells us, to put to put a to put our old selves behind us and to create our new selves more like God in his God in trusting righteousness and holiness. Um at CIY, like I said, this word stood out to me a lot because I throughout throughout the years I've changed and I've changed a lot. And they also told us a couple of ways to to take step by changing is to instead of gossiping and foolish words, tru speak truly. And one of the verses, part of the verses that um, stood up to me was, um, "Don't go to sleep angry, make amends," which really, really stood up to me. For sent um, on the last day, uh, my first verse is in Ephesians 5, 15, and 16. It says, be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. What this means to me is God is with you, so he is wise, and he can help you become more wise um, and you have every opportunity to help other people become in Christ or become a kingdom worker um, the second verse I have is Ephesians 6 7 serve wholeheartedly as if you were serving the Lord not people to me you need to not treat other people as they are your idol because the Lord should be your only idol that you have. He is your Lord and Savior. He is the one that you should always be looking after because he is always watching you. We are sent to, good, to do good works in our homes, our work, in our communities, and at church. To whom are we sent? We are sent to our families, our friends, our neighbors, our bosses, our employees, our teachers, our coaches, and our teammates. You might not know these people very well, but you can always make sure to do your best in changing them to help grow the kingdom workers. <laughs> 